angels welcome back to my channel today's video is how to go back to school safely so if you guys are new to my channel or you just didn't know i am doing a back to school series every single year and i'm super excited because this is the fourth episode so if you want to go back and watch all the other episodes i will link them in the eye so today's video is super super important so if you don't watch any of the other videos make sure you're watching this one and staying until the end i'm giving super important information about the pandemic things you guys need to know in order to stay safe in school out of school everywhere i'm talking about just in general things you need to know things that you can do to help what is going on this is a really important time in a crisis in our nation and around the world and i feel like it's super important for all of us to stick together and just push through so obviously there are so many things you guys can do on your part just to start this video off um you guys should be looking up information i would say don't look don't be looking at the statistics every single day that can really affect your mental health but i'd say at least once a week just make sure that you know what's happening in the world because that will really help you if you feel any symptoms look it up look make sure you're doing your part to help everyone else not just yourself because again we're trying to stick together and i feel like it's super important for you guys just to know everything so obviously in this video i'm going to be talking about what you guys should be doing in school out of school during sports if you do sports everything you guys need to know about the pandemic and what has helped me even though i'm not in school yet also comment down below what time when you guys are going back to school i'm going back to school september 8th which is kind of off awkward because i'm going back i was supposed to go back to school august 24th so make sure you guys comment down below and i will know that you guys you know are interested in what i have to say in this video So the first subject I want to talk about is what you guys should be doing in school. You guys need to be so, 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 so responsible. You guys are in school. I know that statistically there's going to be a lot of people that go back to school because, you know, we've been in quarantine for so long and I feel like people just want to go back and socialize. I'm showing you disposable gloves, but I feel like I personally wouldn't wear them. If you want to wear them, then that's cool. Disposable gloves means you use them once and you throw it out. So if you happen to wear them at school, you wear them, go home, throw them out, and you will be done with them. Your hand sanitizer also, if you don't want to wash your hands in school, which I feel like I wouldn't, I would just get my own hand sanitizer, should be 60% more, 60 more, or more alcohol that's the percentage of alcohol you need to make sure that you are actually cleansing properly i would say please make sure you guys are doing your part there are so many people that are going back to school not only there were students but teachers are also scared for their lives because why wouldn't they be in this time we are supposed to stick together i would say obviously in actual when you're in your classroom if you go to actual school if you go to a classroom, then you will probably not be social distancing, but I would say try to out distance yourself from other students. If you guys do not feel comfortable going to school, you guys do not have to go to school. There are so many options. Right now, there, there are so many options and you guys will be able to do online school. I know my school is offering online school. I have so many online school videos that you guys will test if you want if you either want to click the eye or scroll all the way down to my homepage and I have an online school whole playlist or you can go to playlists and I will have a whole section of online school videos but I feel like now I'll probably make a little bit more because I only have a couple but I feel like those show really really useful for you guys so yeah just make sure that you go back to school and are making sure that you're making the most now i want to say bring your own supplies meaning not only hand sanitizer but try not to lend your supplies and after you finish them if even if no one else has touched them sanitize them please because this is gonna enforce the fact that you are cleaning them and making sure that you are just getting rid of whatever you bring in back to your house I also just want to take a quick second to tell you guys I would bring my own supplies and not ask other people for supplies because you don't know where they've been. Also, 
if you're gonna lend someone something just give it to them don't even ask them to give it back because you don't know if what they're gonna do with it if you bring your own personal products like lip gloss perfume things like that i would sanitize it too just to be safe you know and clean everything and also if you don't see your teachers disinfecting your desk just clean it off for the next person but i feel like your teachers are mandatory to do that so i feel like you wouldn't have a problem with that the next subject i want to talk to you guys about is what to do in sports so obviously i know that i'm trying out for volleyball so if i make the team i will play against other schools in sports my biggest thing is just to follow the coach's directions they're probably going to tell you to social distance they're probably going to tell you to do all this stuff just please be safe this goes for school too i would say if you don't feel comfortable using like if you play a sport with obviously most sports all have like a certain type of ball like volleyball i would bring my own volleyball and make sure that i know where it is at all times like if I'm going to serve it over the net, then I'm going to chase after it so that no one else touches it or anything. And then when I get back, I would disinfect it. Another thing is wear mask. I know that there are so many different types of masks, but I'm going to show you guys, especially for sports. They told us that if you play against another school, we're going to have to wear masks on the court because we're going to be so close. If we're on the net, we're going to be close to like other people on the net in volleyball. So... I would say disinfect your hands, your your balls if you're taking any, and wear a mask in practice. So those three are my three personal favorites. The ones that f navy with flowers, regular navy, and gray were my favorites. This one is my least favorite because it doesn't provide air support and it doesn't have a filter either. I cannot breathe when I tried this mask on and it's so weird. These are my second favorites um the gray ones because they they just kind of support but my personal favorites are these three because they have this little elastic kind of rubber thing that makes your the support on your ears either bigger or smaller so that your mask sits right i love those just because i feel like they actually do something with my face i would recommend trying a couple masks buying a few masks i want to buy some masks so that they match all of my outfits but I would recommend buying a couple, seeing what you need like, and then buying similar styles. In sports, in sp school, out of school, everywhere you go, make sure you have a mask. The last thing I wanna mention is what you guys should be doing before and after school. Before and after school, take showers. I would say now is the best time to take two showers. If you're going to school, wipe everything off after school. Uh, make sure you're washing your hands properly. Please, guys, wash your hands properly. Take those 20 to 30 seconds, wash your hands. Um, it's just gonna make the greatest difference. I personally wouldn't wash my hands in the school bathroom unless I literally went to the bathroom and things like that. But that's literally all I have to say. Wash your hands before and after school. Wear a mask before and after school, during school, during sports. Make sure you're getting into your nails. Also, if you are a if you have like long nails and watch if stuff gets in it i would wash your nails too i personally don't have fake nails but if you do they probably will need more my nails are real they just grow really fast so i have to clean them all the time another thing i would do after and before school is disinfect your electronics electronics will hold whatever you bring from school so make sure you guys are disinfecting it i have an apple watch i have a phone i have an ipad i have a computer and my school gives out computers so all of these things need to be disinfected after school and before school if you want to be super superficial all of these things you guys should do to make sure that you are just making sure you get everything off i say take a shower just because it cleanses everything you brought from school and cleanses them off that is everything i have to say i hope this is super informational and if you stayed this far into the video comment down below showering because i talked about it way too much in this video Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next few episodes of my back to school series. I'm super excited for this. I hope you guys are staying safe out there in the world. And if you guys are not, at least take this video and take some of the tips and focus on using them and somehow 
put them into your real life. I love you guys so, so much. See you guys in the next Sunday's video, video because I promise you guys it will be an amazing one. Bye, guys.